uh, Mike is uh, Sabrina here? She's not here, but I can uh, let her know you came by when I see her. Her car's here. It is? Ah, you know what? Rachel and Kim came by and picked her up earlier. Dude, when are you gonna learn, man? Sabrina's way too good for you. Um, can you please have her call me at home? I don't have my cell phone anymore. Sure, bro. Anything for you. Dude, you seem like a good guy, Joe, but honestly, you need to find some punk rock type of bitch. Can you please have her call me? Fucking joke, for real. Walk through life with a reason But never stop to feel Every day is a new beginning And every breath he is real I'm sorry for coming. I know how your family feels about me. My mom's starting to come around. Besides, I think this off is two assholes. You okay? Can you say something to you? I'm leaving, Sabrina. What do you mean? You know you're the only good thing in my shitty life right now. I don't, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Look at me. What's going on? You've always known how I'm feeling. I need you to know now. Talk to me. You know, this is the longest my dad and I ever stayed in one place. If I would have known we were moving again, I wouldn't have. Wouldn't have what? Came here, met me. Joe, I fought my family for you. They, they judged you and thought you were this bad boy. I saw what a good, genuine, talented, beautiful person you are. You think I want to leave you? This is killing me. My dad's sick, Sabrina. I can't leave him alone. You know that. He said we're moving to Arizona to live with my aunt. Mm -hmm. Long distance kills relationships, Joe. Do you even love me anymore? You know the answer to that. Then let me come with you. Sabrina. This is what you're used to. I cannot take you away from this. All this doesn't make someone... I can't provide you with this. Joe, all this doesn't matter to me. It doesn't make someone fall in love. It's what you're used to. I see. I haven't been in love my entire life until now. If you're willing to take that away from me, but... Hey, as long as I have my fancy car in the driveway and my parents' money. I'm sure that'll make up for it. It's not what I'm talking about. And you know that. I know that's not what you're about. I remember that first day, though. You were going off on me because I scratched your car with my shitty van. But I didn't. No, I didn't. Instead, you turned to me and you said, uh, I'd love I, uh, to hear you play live. I remember getting pissed every time I saw that the parking space next to you was taken. Finally, I just parked so close that you'd have to scratch my car. I wanted to meet you. Well, glad I scratched the shit out of your car. <laughs> yeah, me too. My dad wasn't though. See, I would, I would do it. I would do that again. That's what I'm saying. My dad and I share a 30-year-old van. I don't care. Sabrina, I can't. I can't take you away from this. I can't. You have a future here. I'm not gonna be in the way of that. Joe, I want you in my future. 
Nothing else matters. As soon as we pick up the van, we're going. Breaking my heart.